and and there, why would you not pick somewhere in the corridor or near the entrance? Or stay where you were. Yeah. Yeah. Away from the life form. <laughs> no. They, they go wandering and exploring. Back where they came from. So if they could find their way back there, then surely they wouldn't have much longer to go to the entrance. I I, I don't I don't know. And We're bringing logic into this film. Yeah. yeah. We've missed out the most stupidest part of this film when the guy has like a kind of bong attached to into his space helmet. This punk rocker dude. Oh. He's just around just like... Oh, just yeah. like this bong just like getting high in his helmet so I was just like what the fuck am I watching <laughs> that, that was the most stupidest moment of the film for me anyway going back to where all the oil was leaking out the jars and the worm yeah um, so basically <laughs> this idiot scientist like once this worm comes out of the, the goo this scientist this glasses scientist feels the need to touch it bearing in mind these two people have been the most cautious two people of the group. They see a dead body of an alien and just like, we've got to get out of here and go wander it off. Yeah. yeah. And find a big dead pile of aliens and freak out. But then as soon as they find a live alien creature, when they've been warned that there's a life form down there, they see the need to go and pet it like a dog. Or at least the glasses guy does. And it grabs his arm. Hey, great. Great. It breaks his arm. And, and this punk rocker dude is just doing nothing. He's just kind of staring like, whoa. It spits acid in his face, like weak acid, which kind of melts his mask, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then he just falls into this goo. But, uh, surely, if it spat acid, just take your helmet off. Yeah. Take your helmet and throw it. To be honest, I'm surprised they didn't have their helmets up already because the atmosphere was breathable. <sighs> yeah, you know. yeah. I I know, but it's it's like come on, you you have asked surely it's like that scene in have you seen Silent Hill, the film? I haven't seen no. no haven't seen. There's basically a bit where where the same thing happens. A creature splats acid or bur- or stuff that burns onto a, onto a woman who's right. got like uh, is a police officer. And and immediately she just does the smartest thing and takes it off. <laughs> but in this, they they just the, the guy just grabs his helmet, even though it's it's clearly not on his face. Clearly the acid has hit his helmet, and yet he feels the need to grab his grab his helmet like he like he's been like like the acid has gone into his face. I. And then he falls into the the goo, and you don't see him again. Yeah. Then. Well, no, we do, don't we? You, you, yeah, you, you do see him, but later on, his feed is cut. He's gone at this point. Oh, yeah. But, but then he comes back later on, and that bit altogether is just weird. Well, wasn't that Naomi Rapace's, Rapace's boyfriend, husband? Which one was it? He gets infected later on when they go back to find these guys. Yeah, but I mean, that one who comes back as like a kind of zombie. That's the Fifield. Yeah, oh, so it wasn't her husband that came back? No. Oh, right, okay. No. Um, but then, then this, this worm that's in the other guy just goes into his throat. Oh, yeah. And then he's, he's immediate. he's dead. You know, yeah. he's, he's dead and... Bear in mind, this is a clear Chekhov's gun moment, because you see two worms in that black oil. Two worms. There are two worms in there. One goes inside this guy's throat. The other disappears completely. And then, these guys go back in search of these two scientists. They find the dead one, and they don't find... The, the other cat, the Fifield guy, there is no... The worms are gone. They have disappeared completely. Chekhov's gun. You you bring up that plot point only to disregard it. Straight away. Yeah. 
second. Any... Uh, these worms do not appear again. No. They've had their screen time now. It, they've had their nod to Alien. We don't need them again. Yeah. Um, but the crew, um, this was, like, still during the storm, I think. It, I think it cuts between. Um, the took this, David has, like, secretly took one of these alien oil urns, because he, I don't get his motivation, but we'll come to that. Um, but the rest of the crew have took this severed alien head that was from the blast door, and, um, they find that this lobster kind of shell alien head is actually a helmet so they take this helmet off and it's one of the bald Kratos Voldemort aliens from the beginning of the film the the engineers yeah and then they say let's try and make it talk well first they take some DNA samples and put it into the computer and then as that's scanning they say let's try and make the head talk (laughs) that's oh yeah but in the cinema like Okay. They so they basically have this this electric charge thing that they plug into the the head. Yeah. Um, to make, make it, it talk. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> and and it, and it, and it, 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 it combusts and explodes. And it's like well, charging it up, it's like screaming like this alien death language, <laughs> and all these black veins are like pulsating on its head, and they're like. Oh crap! We 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 better cover it up. Yeah, and then it explodes. Then it then it explodes. So so that was entirely useless. Yeah, they took the head back for no reason. Um, but then it's later discovered that their DNA is a per- perfectly matched. To yeah, hundred percent. One hundred percent matched. So I'm sitting there like, no. No, it isn't. It would have... Human DNA would have elements of engineered DNA because their body, like, crumbled into the water and then we eventually evolved from, you know, the bacteria in this water. But if our DNA was 100% 100 identical to these engineers, then we'd be engineers. We'd be 15-foot-tall, pasty... Kratos, Voldemort aliens. Oh yeah, you're right. We we would. We uh, no, that's that's true. I mean, you could have you'd have elements of it. Yeah. Of the DNA, but you wouldn't be. No, it's a hundred percent match. <laughs> oh. 100%. Yeah. Oh, and there's a whole thing where basically David like. Gets this little bit of black oil on his finger. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's like, big things have small, small beginnings. beginnings. And then, which was just a trailer shot, to be fair. Yeah. That shot was just purely in it for an awesome line in the trailer. <laughs> and and what 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 he does with this is that this this Holloway character replaces husband. I was about to say wife there. Not Tom Hardy. Not the not Tom Hardy guy. He starts to drink because he's depressed. He's depressed because he wanted to ask the fundamental questions to these engineers. Why did you make us? And you're like, why are you sulking? You've made the greatest discovery known to mankind. You have proved existence of extraterrestrial life. You've proved religion sulking. is a lie. Yeah. And you're, dis- you're, you're sulking because you... you you wanted more. What more could you want? That you've discovered alien life. Then, then David comes over, and it's like, well, th- this was actually. I don't know, this was probably th- my favourite scene in the entire film. Yeah. In terms of strength of the script. Uh, him, they have a conversation about why the engineers created humans, and David poses the question, "Well, why was I created?" And this hollow, this not Tom Hardy character goes. Because we could, and and uh, then then it's then it's like David says, well, how disappointed would you be if you heard your creator tell that to you? Yeah, and and I think that sort of answers. I mean, because I don't think you need a very prof- like a big profound reason why they created us. I mean, why do humans create things like? 
we do here? Why do we build how? Like, why do we build massive skyscrapers? Because we can. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I felt a bit cheated that we didn't get any answers. I, 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 I see what you're saying. I understand your point. It's a good point, but I just think we needed something. Is it just a bunch of these pasty Kratos Voldemort aliens just sitting around just like, you know what, I'm going to drink some alien death liquid, dissolve into the water, and maybe create life. Mm, yeah, I, I can... I... It's a good concept, but it just falls apart whenever you try and think about it. Yeah, I, well, I, I, I'm under the impression I didn't need... I didn't need a profound sort of reason. I, I bought the... I bought that. I bought that as a concept. Um, and you can and you you can buy it and you can't. It's sort of marmite, I guess. Yeah. You love it or you hate it. And I I liked that concept. Um, but then anyway, now we have David, who has a complete character change. Well, I well, don't say complete, but questionable motives. He's just like, oh, I've got some of this alien death liquid on my finger. Just puts it in, like, the guy's whiskey. Yeah. Just hands it to him. He's like, drink this. I haven't put anything in it. You, you can, the, guy can, the guy is in the perfect view to see him dip his finger in. He and doesn't do it exactly subtly, does he? He's just... No. No. I, I would raise the... If I was that guy, I would raise the question. Um, yeah, why would you... Why did you uh, put your finger in... In my drink, there's like no reason. Just testing the temperature. Okay, <laughs> that's a good enough reason for it. But you know, you see him. You see, he he has this. You can actually see his finger. I think this is a good good thing that Fassbender did because I think most like you could easily forget. Other a- actors could forget that this guy has liquid alien liquid on his hands. But Fassbender uses the finger that he has it on. He he removes it from touching the glass. He doesn't let it touch touch the glass. You can see his finger like he, like vertical. Oh, kind of like keeps it off the glass. Yeah, he keeps it off the glass until he dips it in in his drink. I I thought that was very a very good thing to do because uh, you could easily forget that 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 he had the liquid on his hands. So I I liked that bit and then. He drinks up, like, downs the thing, like, in one. He's, like... And then he goes back to Numira Pace's room. Yeah. And she tells him that, oh, we found evidence that it's... Uh, we're, we are engineers. We are 100% engineers. We are bald, muscular, pasty white guys. Yep. Um, then what ensues is they have sex. They have sex, and what what David? I think I think David. David was David's curiosity as well. That's I think that's what he was. He was. I think that comes back to the conversation because why did humans create me? Because we could. Why does he do do that? Because he can. Because he's curious to know the effects of this. He's curious to see what it will do. The the things it it will do to to the thing and what life you can probably know that infected a human with alien death oil probably isn't going to end well but you're saying he just does it because he's curious and he wants to cre- get in on creating life i i, I well, i'm i'm saying that he he's curious to know the what the what the effects of this death liquid are so he tests it so he's an essentially an antagonist by this time he saw. I I can understand, but use a guinea pig. Use 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 a mm, like an animal. Yeah, because you get like a kind of feeling. There's this kind of animosity between David and not Tom Hardy. Yeah. But I I can't remember whether before this point they've had any kind of like, you know, disagreements. Because you can kind of see in that scene we were talking about when he says um. Because we could, and then he kind of gives a little laugh, and then David kind of mimics him, like, with a sarcastic laugh. Like, yeah, he yeah. really hates this guy. But I, I can't remember, it's been a while since I saw it, I can't remember whether they have any other scenes before that point. 